I am going to show you a quick tutorial on setting up Nintendo Game & Watch via RetroArch and get, then getting it to run through Hyperspin and this is on an Android device, I'm using the Nvidia Shield TV Pro so the first half of the video will be for RetroArch, the second half will be for Hyperspinners so I'm going to go through it all as if I'm setting up for the first time so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to RetroArch and then I'm going to go to Online Updater and Core Updater and I'm going to download the Game & Watch Core which is Game & Watch and GW in brackets just going to download that and then I'm going to go back back and then i'm going to add content this is the easiest system you'll ever have to set up all you have to do is click on add content and download content and here's all the roms that you'll need all the games so we'll do the nintendo donkey kong multi-screen so there we go it's downloaded so all the downloads this is this the I'm used just using the pre-configured um, settings for RetroArch. So if you go to settings and directory, it'll show you where the downloading to, but it should just be the downloads folder in the root of your device. So as you can see, zero download. I'll just show you. Just to double check. Um just quit RetroArch a sec. I'm just gonna use ES File Explorer just to see. There we go. It's we go to home in the file explorer let's go to home and literally the download pre-configured download folder there's the donkey kong rom so just back out of here again back into retro arc so now we've got our rom we've got our core to run the game watch we'll we'll load core so we'll click game watch and now we'll load content so select file so sd card which is the root my device icon file so now i'm just going to click on it and there you go i've not messed about with any of the input whatsoever it's pre-configured to run on my nvidia shield um so there we go it's it's that simple it's the, probably the easiest system you'll ever have to set up because everything's done for you basically the, the the roms are there you can just download the cores it's just nothing to do so there we go now i'll show you how to set it to run through hyperspin so we just back out of here close retro arc go back to es file explorer and i'll go to my hyperspin setup and the settings file let's show you something quick when you name in this system nintendo or whatever you want it Nintendo, I would call it Nintendo Game and Watch. You might call it Electronic Games or whatever you want to call it. Um, but make sure if you use the find it, and that's will be the reason. So just make sure you write and and not use the symbol for and or just call it Game Watch. You didn't use the word use the word and if you don't want to, but just just bear that in mind. So I'm just going to go open that up, and there we go. So the, the lines that you're worried about on here are the execution line and the parameters and obviously ROM extensions. So I've got ROM extensions, I've got ZIP and MGW, the, the ZIP doesn't need to be there really. Um, and the execution line is com.retroarch forward slash com.retroarch dot browser dot retroactivity dot retroactivity future. With the retroactivity future at the end of the line, the is a capital R, A, and F at the beginning of each word. 
and then on my parameters I've got cause forward slash gw underscore libretro underscore android dot so so as long as your settings are all set up and all your folders are all named the same and everything within hyperspin which I'm not going to teach you how to do because so, you should already know you should when you go and launch hyperspin go to your game and watch and we'll click on Go to Donkey Kong again. Where's there? We go the multi screen, oh, and there you go. It should just be up and running straight away. It's that easy, and it's like obviously make sure your ROMs, your game, but um, game and watch ROMs match your XML file in your database. So, and there you go, it's up and running. Thanks for watching.